Good audio is one of those things that a lot of content creators and live streamers struggle with, mostly because you have to be loud enough to be heard, but not too loud that you end up clipping and distorting and honestly blowing your audience's ears out. Obviously, if you know exactly what you're doing, you can set up a sequence of filters like gain, compression, limiter and stuff to actually be able to sort all of that out. However, I recently found a filter which I think can do all of that all in one go with little to no knowledge and can help a lot of creators out. This VST plugin is called Loud Max, and as it says down here, if you can kind of see it, is Loud Max is a look ahead brick wall loudness maximizer plugin. And that basically just means that it makes the sound as loud as possible without clipping. It's effectively a compressor and a limiter merged into one. And this kind of VST is usually used in like making music and it's designed to like master your song so it's as loud as possible without distorting, etc. But I think it works really well. On microphones as well especially for live streaming so to download this plugin basically you just want to go to google and type in loud max v s t which i still can't type apparently and then as you can see here on this blogger website you'll find loud max go to this website and then you'll be at the page i was just on scroll down and then download the vst2 plugin because vst3 works with like more modern music things but obs still works with vst2 plugin so get the vst2 plugin download it and then obviously install it set it all up and then we can go to obs obviously we're in obs right now and the first thing you need to do is to make sure the audio quality actually sounds good so set up your microphone correctly with like gain eq compressor so that the audio quality of your actual voice this voice thing you're speaking with sounds good because we're not dealing with clipping right now that's what the filter is going to do in a second for me i use a go xlr so i don't really add any filters in here but for you you might have to add in things like a noise gate noise suppression compressor eq stuff like that for me don't need to add any of that but once that is actually sorted out and your voice is sounding good and you're very happy with how everything is sounding then we can add the loud max filter so you want to go down to this plus button press plus obviously go to vst2 and then i'm going to type in loud max which i've actually spelled right for once and then obviously we need to spread this out and then go to VST2, select the plugin, and then find Loud Max. I'm going to go 64. Obviously, once you've opened the plugin, you're met with the interface, which, as you can see, is very simple. There's not really too many things to change or edit on here. You've got a couple of faders and a couple of audio meters to kind of explain what is going on. This top one is your threshold, which is effectively how much the limiter is working and what gain is being applied to your audio. And then this bottom one is the output, which is the decibels that it's going to be capped at. So if you've watched any OBS tutorials or audio tips and tricks in the past, I'm sure you know that you're supposed to have your voice capping out at around minus five, minus six decibels, especially if it's going to be being mixed with music or game audio or any other stuff there, just so the overall volume doesn't distort and clip. So I like to set my output first and put that around minus five, as I just said. And if you want to go a bit more specific or drag this a bit slower press shift and it will go by ones instead of or it'll go by point ones instead <laughs> obviously set that at minus five then you need to set up your threshold which is obviously how much limiter and gain is being applied to reach that output to do that basically you're going to drag this around until it hits the right volume for me right now when i'm speaking as you can kind of see in these audio meters i'm hitting like minus 20 minus 15 or so because obviously i've removed some of the volume from this output so i need to bring this threshold down until it hits around that minus five so for me i think that's going to be around minus 10 no is it minus 10 uh, not quite maybe minus 11 11 minus 11 decibels and as you can see my average speaking voice right now is around here so i'm hitting that like on average like minus six minus five decibels and the, the volume has increased it's pretty loud now but i'm getting no distortion and even if i shout and go loud it's still not distorting which is honestly great and this is way more simple than setting up things like a gain and a limiter and compressor and having all those things mixed together in one go because it's very hard to learn that stuff especially if you're brand new at audio so you've got these two faders which makes this whole thing a lot more simple so just set up minus five decibels on this one and then play around with this until you're just about hitting the output that you want and honestly i'm very impressed with this because it's the limited or very little amounts of distortion even when you are very loud oh, and if you're very quiet like this you're still getting quite a lot of gain added back in 
which is great and I absolutely love this filter. Anyway, I just want to make this quick video talking about that filter because I recently found out about it. Someone had commented it on my TikTok and was like, you really need to check out this filter. It's really useful and they were right. I've really been enjoying using it. It sounds great. It's made everything a little bit more streamlined while keeping the quality really good. Hopefully you enjoyed this video though and if you did, give it a like down below and if you want to learn more about content creation and also live streaming, I think this is the side. Check out these videos here and I will see you all in the next one.